In this pigmonic, we'll learn about mixed cryoglobulinemia, also known as type 2 or type 3 cryoglobulinemia, illustrated by mixed Mr. Cry O with globulin goblin wearing 2 2 2 jumping out from a 3 tree. This disease occurs when rheumatoid factor, shown as the Roman flagger, forms immune complexes with viral or autoantigens and their antibodies. These immune complexes then result in inflammation and disease. Rheumatoid factor antibodies can be monoclonal or polyclonal, shown as the monocle and polyparrot. This can include several combinations like polyclonal IgG with monoclonal IgM or polyclonal IgG and polyclonal IgM. One of the characteristics of this disease is that these immune complexes can precipitate out of the blood in cold temperatures, usually below 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This is shown as the moon antibody complex freezing. When this clumping occurs in the blood, perfusion to organs can diminish and cause tissue damage. Hepatitis C, the happy Thai liver cat, is the most common association for mixed cryoglobulinemia. Hep C antigens are responsible for immune complex formation and resultant inflammation. Autoimmune diseases like lupus and Sjogren's are another common cause of mixed cryoglobulinemia. Now let's discuss some clinical features. 25-30% to 30 of cases have the classic Meltzer's triad, shown as the melting zero triad triangle. This triad consists of palpable purpura, shown by palpable paw prints from purple cat, arthralgias, shown as King Arthur algae, and general malaise, shown by the general with malaise. The histopathological hallmark of mixed cryoglobulinemia is leukocytoclastic vasculitis, illustrated by the vessels on fire. This vasculitis can affect the kidney, resulting in glomerulonephritis, depicted by the glowing mare. On diagnostic workup, rheumatoid factor will be positive and complement proteins may be low, shown as the down arrow protein complementing. This is because they are usually consumed in the classical pathway of complement activation from the inflammatory processes happening in the blood. Hepatitis C virus testing should also take place. The aim of treatment is to resolve any underlying disorders, illustrated by treating disorders under the Roman pillars. This means that patients with hepatitis C should undergo appropriate antiviral treatment. Patients with underlying autoimmune diseases may need immunosuppressants, the moon suppressed, to reduce the immune activity which leads to mixed cryoglobulinemia. So to recap, mixed cryoglobulinemia is characterized by rheumatoid factor activity with a mixture of monoclonal and polyclonal immunoglobulins. It results from immune complex deposition in cold temperatures, which is commonly associated with hepatitis C and autoimmune diseases. Clinical manifestations may include Meltzer's triad, which is palpable purpura, arthralgias, and general malaise. Vasculitis and glomerulonephritis may also be seen. During diagnostic workup, decreased levels of complement proteins help to corroborate the clinical picture. Management consists of treating the underlying disorders and immunosuppressants. Mix Mr. Cryo with his gobulin goblin wearing a tutu, surprise the Romans with their sudden appearance. They hid behind a three tree before they decided to attack and freeze the Romans. The Romans were not prepared for this attack, so they immediately had to raise a white flag, indicating they surrendered. This action was decided by the government's meeting with the smallest poly in the country that wears a monocle. The counselors were convinced even before the poly opened his mouth. Unfortunately, Mr. Cryo wanted an all-out war, so he was disappointed with the surrender. Because of this, he froze their moon with antibody complexes. Back at base camp, the happy Thai liver cat was indeed very happy to learn of his best warrior's sneak attack. The attack was part of a bigger plot of revenge because his hometown's moon was crushed by a Roman auto. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our Vasculitides Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from granulomatosis with polyangiitis, both characteristics and symptoms, eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis, microscopic polyangiitis, Henoch Shanlin Purpura, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, 
and research proven to increase exam scores.